What's happening, guys? Matt Cichlid Dojo, back with another monthly fish room update. Hope everybody's having a good new year so far. I'm gonna try to cover everything from updates on projects, fish that moved around, uh, especially thing that that are available, all fish that are available, and uh, I'll cover pretty much all of my all of my fish in my fish room, and uh, trying to continue doing these consistent updates for you guys here on the YouTube channel. So we'll get right into it. Uh, right now we're looking at the Herichthys carpentis, my big breeding pair. Try to get in there without the glare. Loving these guys. A little cooler in the tank this time of year, so uh, not really expecting much spawning activity. But loving this guy. Definitely one of the favorites in the fish room and I usually focus on them when I do the other live videos and stuff but they're doing really well and uh, as you guys probably uh, are aware if you follow the channel the other pair on the other side I moved on with them uh, someone uh, came up on uh, the pair and uh, probably gonna do a lot of breeding with them that pair was uh, pretty consistent consistent breeders so yeah they're doing good and I'm gonna have a lot of this species to show here uh, even without the other pair but uh, we'll move on to the next side this is where I temporarily put the uh, the Cuban pair you see the female inside the pot right there hanging out they're a great pair together and the males back there and uh, it's always a tough decision to decide when you gotta move stuff, but you know, we're all always getting interested in new projects and growing out more fish, and so uh, we have to come to decisions like this. Plus, I, I do have some of his grots. I might, I might grow out some and see how they turn out, but I'm gonna sell this pretty large Cuban pair if anyone's interested. Uh, really good breeders, really good pair together. Um, you can go check out some some good video of them when I have the lights on and whatnot. They have some spawns and everything. So let me know if you're interested, if you want to get a really good Cuban pair. They work really well together. Male doesn't do, doesn't mess with the female really at all. So send me a message. Facebook or Instagram would be the best ways. Um, down below, these are uh, some of their fry actually. Uh, they're pretty big at this point. Um, I think I'm listing them at two to three inches. Let me know if you're interested. I still have a good amount in here. Get you some bigger Cubans. And I'll do my best to see if I can sex as best as possible uh, at the time of bagging the fish. Don't have the room to segregate and, and take individual fish, pictures of them and put them in top holding containers right now maybe I'll do that in the future but so right now it's just uh, they're gonna move in the size range so let me know if you're interested let's go over here next uh, this is a hundred gallon has some of the growth actually I think there's some fun activity going on right now I think there's a uh, I saw a female drop some eggs I think uh, I'm not sure if they're fertilized or whatnot um, you can see there's been some lip locking. That's a dominant male. It's another male that's kind of challenging him. And uh, absolutely beautiful fish. But this female is the one that he's always with. And that second male is fighting over. Where's that second male? I think that's, that's the fish. Anyways, some scrapping. And some of that came from a trimac. I had a male trimac in there with him. And the Tramex is a little bit more aggressive than the Carpentis, so uh, when I removed him, 
I think it's gonna it's starting to calm down a little bit more but of course this 100 gallon's not going to work for I think eight of these guys no, 10 of these guys in here for too long so I'll have to make some decisions but definitely think I'm gonna go with this pair uh, for future breeders going forward they do a pretty good job so a female fired up breeding dress super fun species and I do have their fry available if you're interested. Not these, this pair, but the other, the big pair's fry. I think they're in that one inch range. We'll go check them out. They'll be by the garage opening, so it might be a little bit harder to see them, but this is, uh, you're witnessing some that I grew out myself. From, uh, I think a little smaller than the one inch size that I'm offering right now, so. Pretty fun. All right, moving on. Down below, I have the Multifasciatus fry, the Freddies. And uh, some of these are getting pretty big. Some of these are definitely an inch plus, really fat fish. And, and I started, like pretty much all my fry and all my fish in here, started feeding that Dianichi uh, food, which uh, I'm actually really liking. You know, it, it's hard in a short period of time to see any big differences on it with your fish color and whatnot you know health all that stuff but the one thing I could notice so far I, I'm feeding this I think it's the baby size of Dianichi um, it's done really well uh, with fry and they growing noticeably different multiple different species they seem to be growing faster on that stuff I really like it and uh, I pull out of a, a bag of it for you guys here Let's see. So, and you've probably seen my videos, but um, this is what the package looks like. This is the larger size, the medium. Uh, and I feed this to the, my larger fish. Uh, I'm almost out. This is the sample that I've been trying, and I, I ran out real quick of this stuff. They love it. Really high quality ingredients. Go check it out. And, uh, And I'm feeding some of this color stuff. Uh, you can go check out the other video for my red, the fish that get red, like the uh, red terrors, the motoguances, and they love that as well. So I'm really excited to see how that does long term because uh, obviously the fest day are going to take a little while to to see any coloration. But I'm going to stick on that. But all the other fish really seem to like it. So I actually got a bunch extra because um, I'm getting it directly from them, and. Uh, I can easily add that to some of the fish orders, or you can just get some separately. Uh, definitely got it for a discounted price. Let me know if you're interested, guys. Figured it would be a good thing to offer. Um, I get a lot of questions on uh, what to feed, what are you feeding right now, trying to you know, mirror that when they get the fish. And uh, you know, in the past, I was feeding a food that you had to buy 50 pounds bulk, so it wasn't really realistic that anybody could get that same food and and so now i've switched over to a premium food uh for my fish and also i'm offering it so it should be a very easy transaction uh transition over to the same same exact food you can keep them on uh just message me with the, the fish order and even if you uh not getting fish i highly recommend trying that stuff so let's move on uh let's go this way all right so I don't know if we're going to get in here. I got the True Green Terrors. And do you know a car Stolzberg guy? Let's see if we can check any of them out. There's one. Man, absolutely beautiful fish. Um, obviously a little on the skittish side, but uh, we'll stay here for a minute to see if any of these come out. And uh, just getting prettier and prettier by the day. I mean, I think the dominant male is in the back right, right there. But uh, it's just, they're getting bigger. Uh, the only thing that's uh, not happening is spawning. So I do have some of their fry left. I think they're 
somewhat bigger than I've ever offered, like inch and a half to two inches. There's the dominant male, inch, inch and a half to two inches, and uh, they're not lasting very long, kind of dwindling down. So, fingers crossed these guys will give me a spawn, but um, hopefully someone that's gotten fry from me will come through if I can't. So anyways, True Green Terrors, let me know if you're interested on the, the fry. All right, uh, moving down. Uh, not see a whole lot, but there are a whole lot of fish in here. These are the uh, Heraclis Carpentis, another batch of their fry. These are not the ones, these are smaller. I have bigger ones, much bigger ones than this. Uh, we'll get around and go see those in a little bit, but not a whole lot to see. And then I think this whole stand, I'm not gonna really focus on. I had some F1 Feste Garats here uh, that I, I've since moved. I've had it on my stock list, uh, and I do still have a seven inch Feste F1 Rio Gaius uh, down in the bottom left hand corner. It'd be hard to see them with this light, but um, uh, let me know if you're interested in that one. But uh, all the rest of them seem to move. I had them on my stock list and whatnot, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do something else with this tank. I'm gonna grow out some more. Surprise, surprise, some more red terrors. Uh, probably those Rio Norena ones, uh, the Colombian ones from my buddy. And uh, we'll get to see how they turn out. Can't wait to grow those ones out. Actually, I will be waiting because they're gonna take a while. All right, moving on. Right here are the Red Tiger Motoguensis. And I'm looking right into the sun, so I'm not, I can't even see what's on my phone, but there we go. I think I could see uh, the dominant male in there who's just a lot larger than the rest of them. Starting to come around, color up, and uh, hopefully we'll see some pairing. You know, I might hold on to a pair, but most of these guys, I'm gonna have, if not all of them, I'm gonna have to move. Um, some you can definitely see females in here. Another probably big male back there, I'm guessing. Maybe that's a female actually, not sure. So anyways, the modas, the last of the modas are growing out in the 75 gallon. So, uh, moving on. Down below we have uh, three 10 gallons. <coughs> Excuse me. On the right side we have more Heraclis Carpentis. In the middle we have some more F1 Fast Day, the Rio guys. And I do have a bigger batch of these that are right around the corner from being ready. They're not on my stock list right now, but um, I think in about two, three weeks those other ones are going to be ready. And then I have the last of the Panamensis down here. I think there might be like 12, 12 of them in here, 15. Some of them are over an inch. They look really healthy. Um, and looking at them right now, I'm like, do I really want to get rid of them? Do I want to grow them out? But anyways, space is always an issue. So let me know if you're interested. Great species, really fun. Go check out some of my old videos. All right. Now, we might see very little here. Uh, there's the, they were on the 240 gallon right now. With the sunlight shining to the garage, you could see what the Parafeste on the right are doing. I just did a video on these guys, so you guys probably better to go check that out than this won't show you much. Uh, the the wildcat pair on the left, you can see the female hanging out over there, and then the males just chilling right over here. Beautiful as always. Trying not to pump up this guy too much, but I really like him. Great pair. So uh, again, their fry, this wild caught Rio Gaius pair, their fry 
will be ready very soon. Along with that one seven incher, which is not off these guys, but off a different Wildcat Rio guys pair. So let me know if you're interested. All right, moving on. Let's go around. I'm gonna get my little mini chair and see if we can just jump in here. So this is a 40 gallon where I was growing out and you're gonna see a bunch of skittish fish flying around. These are the grow out and Dino car Stalsberg eye. And uh, that's what they do when the lights up, when the garage is open. So we're not gonna focus on these guys too much, but at some point I will definitely have to move them up. Um, down below, we have some of the, those blue Texas or the Carpentis. I wish they would really get in the sunlight a little bit more. Anyways, I think you can see them. Already showing color at their size, one inch plus. Of course, I'm gonna always get the biggest ones out of there. I think they look great. Such a fun species. I kinda wanna grow out more myself, but that's my favorite part, but I can only do that with how many tanks at a time, right? So, anyways, let me know if you're interested in the Carpentis. All right. Now, these are those Rio Norino Colombian F1 Feste. And uh, I've been growing some of these out and seeing how they're doing. They're doing pretty well. Growing pretty slow, like they should. And uh, I'm gonna start to move some of them to that other 120 once they get a little bit bigger. And then at some point I'm gonna start offering these guys because I, I, I got like a hundred of them and I definitely cannot keep a hundred of them. If anything, I'm, I'm growing them out just for fun and uh, possibly get a pair for myself. We'll see how they turn out. Looking good so far, I think. So, I'll keep you posted. Uh, the 310 gallons down below. Uh, these are, this is their, the latest batch of my Wild Caught Feste Pairs Fry. So these are F1 Real Gaius. And then, in that little corner, these are more uh, multifaciatus, but you saw those bigger ones available, inches plus. And then over here, these are red Islanus. And I have much bigger than this available. I think up to like two, two and a half inch or, inch or so. Uh, we'll see those at the end, but message me on the bigger batch if you want some. Let's move on. All right. So, now we're on the multifaciatus, and I think last time I uh, announced that I was gonna move that one pair, the pair that was on the left. Actually, my buddy got them, uh, Joseph, and uh, I think he's really loving them. And then immediately, that was the, the largest pair that I moved out, and uh, immediately after that happened, uh, I think the pair in the middle took the left side and that's these guys right here and I think they've spawned they got eaten and then uh, the pair on the right uh, females getting fat again she might drop some more fry anyways their their pair are the ones I pulled in that 10 gallon and then there's the male So, such a fun species to do this in a group. And I know it's not gonna last forever with the size tank I have. You know, there's some in the middle that are kinda hanging out up there and, you know, monitoring the best I can and remove ones that get, you know, harmed and try to put them available. But anyways, they're doing good. Absolutely beautiful species. Highly recommend if you're interested in some fry. Let me know. All right, so now down below, 
I had, you know, I, I've had Trimax down here, but there's a lot bigger ones now. Because that 75 gallon that I was growing out a bunch, a pair formed, and then obviously, of course, all hell broke loose. And so I had to pull all of them except for that pair and, and put them down here. Um, there's ones up to five inches available. You see that beauty, beauty right there. There's ones up to five inches, five inch in here. Just really nice ones. And uh, I'd say the smallest, maybe two inches now. Two, two and a half inch here. So let me know if you're interested in some Rio Nerano Trimax. We'll go take a look at the pair that's formed here uh, right now. All right, let's move on. All right. All right, so I kind of did the 75, one of my favorite ways with these Trimax. I did a pair, you can see the male right there. I did the pair on the left, and then you can see the female right there. Uh, I did that pair right here on the left side, and then on the other divided side, I kept one an extra male over here. And he's, he's hiding right now because the garage is open, but uh, they're usually flaring up at each other. A lot of fun to watch. A lot of uh, attitude through that divider. So, this male might be something special, we'll see. Uh, they've already had two, two batches of fry, which got eaten right away. But they went crazy trying to protect them. So, we'll uh, hold on to this pair for a little bit and uh, get some nice video and whatnot of them. But... Uh, plenty others that are just right around the corner from pairing up and themselves you just saw in that 60 gallon cell let me know if you're interested in trimax um screechy chair apologize down below we're not going to see much they're all in that back corner there's the uh f1 daniel car stallsberg eye the true green tears let me know dwindling down I want to have them available after this for unless that pair gets their act together. And they're just absolutely great eaters. Eating that Dainichi really well, that XL baby size. Um, highly recommend it. All right, last few tanks. Uh, this is the 180 with more Feste. Surprise, surprise. You can see this male right here try to get in here without the glare um, he's, he's still doing good he's still getting big eating a lot he's just a big tank you know I I'm wondering if he's close to the size of that wild caught male which would be just amazing that he's grown so fast he's got big really quick um, I had to remove one of the females out of here not so much because of the male, but the females were just going at, e at, at each other. And uh, there's one in the tube right there, too. You can see her coming out the backside. And then uh, another one over here. So lots of field emails for him to choose from. Just letting him do his thing. A lot of breathing room in this tank for him. So, all right, moving on. The last two tanks, got a 40 breeder here with uh, the Red Islanis. Um, so yeah, the biggest ones here are definitely over two inches. So let me know, the smallest maybe inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Those are available. And then here's the uh, Red Terrors, the Feste. These guys are also growing really fast right now. I had them in a 10 gallon not too long ago. They're a lot smaller than this. <clears throat> and then in the two weeks, week and a half, two weeks I've had them in here, man, they've been eating that Dainichi XL baby size. Really good. 
and there's this full on this stuff. They do really good on that. So, like I mentioned, really liking that new food I've been using for a couple months now. Decided to get some extra. If you guys are interested, let me know. Got it for discounted prices. And uh, let me know on any of the fish too. So, it's Trimax right front and center. So anyways, again, thanks again for the support from everyone on the videos and whatnot. And uh, feel free to leave any comments you have, questions, or message me, Facebook, Instagram, wherever. All right, guys, till the next one. Take care.